Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here. Well, can you believe it? Baseball is here and basketball, it's leaving us. Tonight, the Mavericks played their last regular season home game against Regis. Let's get you out to your highlights right now. Okay, out to Bronson we go. Congrats to CMU's three seniors, Sydney Brandon, Tori Calais, and Soraya Wienera. Honored tonight for their services to the Mavs. To the game in the third, the Rangers are outpacing the Mavericks 28-11. to Here's part of the reason why Tashika Burrell doing it down low from far away. Daniela Turner trying to get the team fired up, drives in gets the hook and the foul. Kyle and Rigsby helping the efforts too because knocking down a three behind the crowd later it's Daniela Turner takes the handoff gets it to go from the free throw line. Unfortunately match fans CMU still down 66-48. Oh and Burrell is still doing her thing out there getting the layup to fall. Later Emma Sterkle goes to work uh, post but kicks it out. Here comes the swing pass and here comes three more for the Rangers. That's Whitney Jacob knocking it down. Mavs will still make you pay for lackluster D. Rigsby finds Sierra McNichols hands down man down but the Mavericks Still down by 20. This is a crazy fast inbound play to Sydney Brandon in the corner, but the Rangers are still getting after it. A nice uh, behind the back move to the by circle opens up enough room for the shot, and yeah, it's good. But with tonight being the last regular game of the season, you know that the Mavs will fight to the last whistle. Daniela Turner doing what she's done all season long, getting it to go after the nice dribble drive. But in the end, it would be Regis University's night scoring set the 77 64 win, handing the Lady Mavs its first and only loss at Bronson this year. Over to the men's game we go. Let's give more seniors some love. Congrats to Michael Skinner, Tommy Nuno, and Jess Spivey to the action. It's Regis getting it started with the pass over to Tony Rokak, who's just a scotch too wide open, drains it from distance. And I wouldn't usually show this considering I have an official right in front of me, but it's worth noting that Tommy Nuno got the party started for the seniors on senior night to a play the official won't get in the way of because he can't jump that high. Ethan Richardson throws it down from down low. Here comes the Rangers from far away. Brian Dawson with his toe on the line, still wet. The official still roll at three. Now, let's take a second to appreciate the skills of Georgie Dan. Are coming in hot. That's a nasty take right there. And that's how you do it with speed. This is how you do it with power. Ethan Richardson playing the post to perfection, grabbing two more for the Mavs. And now Dancer's just showing off for us, spinning all over the place. Going to wrist home the layup. Regis, well, they're still bombing away. That's Christian Little getting it to go. That's Little. This is Small. Jared Small hitting the step back jumper. Ethan Menzies won't be able to get this tough layup to go. But the ball is going to turn into a hot potato. Mavs just tipping it back and forth until Small's ready to can one from range. Makes it 15. To 11 Mavericks later, Tommy Nuno shows off his touch, getting the fall away through the hoop. This time, Nuno is in a giving mood, gives it up to Menzies, and this time he does get the bucket down low to go with lots of Rangers around him again. Another nice feed inside, this time from Skinner to Richardson. He bodies his defender out of the way, he makes it look much easier than it really is. Speaking of making it look easy, watch Jared Small find some space thanks to the pick, gets the foul from the defender. Tell uh, you know, Jared, tell the good folks how many points you can get on this play. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. Four. He missed the free throw, but don't tell anybody because that was a nice play. That's what. Uh, one way to get three. That's another. Regis will Christian Lone draining one from far away. Small is really feeling it now. He who says you'd have to miss the three-point contest tonight. There's Little hitting another one of his own. And folks, it's just getting silly out there now. Here comes Colton Peterson getting in on the three-ball action too. Finally, we have a two-pointer courtesy of this really nice Cranston Lone take on Dancer. Somehow gets it to go on the other end. Check out the inbound pass to Michael Skinner getting a finger roll to go. Maps would go on to get the 72-69 win.